Hello, everybody. I am excited to sing some more songs together from our Sing for Joy songbook. We've been going through every single song in our book, cover to cover, visiting some of our favorites, learning some new ones. And actually, one of the ones today I was brand new to me. I had to learn it, and it's really fun. So I hope you enjoy that one, too. We're going to start, though, at number 111, Trust in the Lord. And this is a scripture song, right? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he shall direct you your paths. Okay, so we're going to sing this one through twice because it's a great way for us to memorize scripture. But ultimately, through all of our praise and worship as we sing these songs together, we are worshiping God for who he is, right? We don't want to just sing about God. We're singing to God. We're raising our voices. We're using music to worship God. And I know that he is blessed by that worship. So this is number 111, Trust in the Lord, and we'll sing it through twice. trusting God and he will direct our paths. He's going to help us know where to go and what to do because that's what a relationship with God is all about, right? It's a really special friendship. So the next one is the new one. The next one is the new one to me. And maybe this is one of your favorites and you should be teaching it to me. It's 112. It's Samuel. It's a song all about Samuel. Do you know who Samuel is in the Bible? Oh, we're introduced to him in the book of 1 Samuel, right? There's 1 and 2 Samuel. We're introduced to him when he's just a little boy. And he was dedicated from just a child. When he, before he was even born, he was dedicated to God, right? His family says, we, we know that this boy is a special gift from God and we dedicate him. Did you know that that's the same for each one of you? Each of you are a special child of God. Your life has been dedicated to God to do something special for God. And God wants to use you to be his hands and feet to share his love with the world around you. And so this song tells us a little bit about how Samuel answered God's call and how God calls you and me too. All right, so we're going to sing this one. Let me show you how this works because it might be a little confusing. So we're going to sing the first verse through, and then we hit this section here with our DC, which tells me I need to go back to the beginning. So then we're going to sing the second verse through, but now, do you see how I am my number two there? That means I'm coming to my second ending after verse two, and we sing our chorus. And then, oh, there's my DC. My El Coda, back to the beginning again. Verse three, oop, repeat. Verse four, and now second ending again, because that's where my number four is, and through the chorus. And then we end, all right? I think you'll get the hang of it. You'll see how it works. And that's why in the video description below, there is a link to the sheet music, right? I've scanned it into Google Drive so you can actually see the music and follow along for yourself, all right? So this is number 112, Samuel. Oh, man. 
song? That was my first time learning it was for this. And I think it's a really great song because what does it ultimately remind us? It not only tells us about the story of Samuel, but that last verse says the Lord is looking. He wants to use you and me. Do you know that God is speaking to you? God is speaking to you just like he spoke to Sam when he goes, hey, what if this or what if that? And we just need to listen. And we might not hear a voice. I've never heard God's voice go, hey, here's what I want you to do. But have you ever maybe seen someone feeling left out and you go, oh, okay, I should go include them or play with them or be nice to them. Did you know that that was God speaking to you in that moment? Have you ever maybe thought about, oh, I forgot to do this and I should say thank you. That's God reminding you, right? All of those little nudges, those nudges are the Holy Spirit. That's God saying, hey, I want you, like Samuel, to be ready, listen, and I want to speak through you. I want to make a difference through you, even if it's just including someone feeling left out. That makes a difference in that person's life, right? So think about that the next time you feel those little nudges, and like Samuel, that's God speaking to you, saying, hey, here's another way that you can show my love to others, okay? Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. All right, our next song is number 113, Trust and Obey. Now, this is a hymn. Maybe you're familiar with it. We're just going to sing first verse all the way through to the chorus and then second verse through to the chorus. All right, Trust and Obey. And this again is saying when we put our trust in Jesus, right, when we obey Jesus, knowing that he knows what's best for our lives, when we're sharing his love with those around us, oh, it's the happiest to be happy in Jesus, Oh, that's the way to be happiest is when we are just in that trusting and obedient relationship with Jesus. So this is number 113, Trust and Obey. that last verse. We'll sit at his feet. We'll walk by his side. We'll do what he says. We'll go where he sends us. We don't have to fear. That's all about having a friendship with Jesus, isn't it? That's all about having friendship, right? Spending time with him, knowing that Jesus is walking in our along our side, right? Jesus is with us no matter what. And then he's going to give us those, those nudges, those nudges, those ways that we can share his love. And I think that's pretty cool. And so what do we do when we share that love? We are telling others about how we love Jesus. Number 114, oh, how I love Jesus. Short and sweet, but I love this song so much. We're going to sing it through twice. Oh, how I love Jesus. Why? Because he first loved me. Right? Oh, Jesus loves you so much. Do you realize that? And because Jesus loves us so much, we're going to sing praises to him now, saying we love you too. Oh, how I love Jesus. 114.
that song. Our final one is short two, number 115, Be Like Jesus. So we'll sing this through twice as well. Be like Jesus. This is my song in the home and in the throng. The throng means out everywhere, groups of people, wherever you're at. Be like Jesus all day long. I would be like Jesus. And as you know that when the Holy Spirit, Jesus in our heart, right, is flowing out of us with his love, oh, we are being like Jesus, aren't we? Isn't that amazing? So be like Jesus, number 115. of your day being like Jesus, sharing how much you love Jesus, listening like Samuel, following those nudges. What an amazing opportunity to be Jesus's hands and feet in the world around us. In the video description below, like I said, I've got a link to all of these songs for you. And then also I've listed each song in the description and I've I've listed the time that we started singing it at. So it's like a shortcut. You can skip over me talking. You can skip just to that song. So maybe that Samuel song was new for you and you want to just repeat that one. That shortcut button helps you do that. So you can just focus on that song and learning it. But I hope you enjoyed this time together as we were able to sing praises to Jesus and thank him for his love. And now let's go tell others how much we love Jesus. I'll see you next time.